Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ed Talaskis, Random Walk Trading. It is Wednesday, December 21st. Getting back with the land and the living after a little bit of a stomach bug. So I'm thinking, uh, hopefully, on the upswing. So definitely uh, better than uh, Monday and uh, Tuesday. So uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get uh, our disclaimer out of the way. And as you know, Random Walk is not a broker-dealer nor investment advisor. This presentation is for educational purposes only. We don't know your situation, what level of risk is right for you. We're not making any specific trade recommendations. As the risk in trading options can be substantial, so please be careful before placing all of your trades and hitting the confirmation um, button. The actual p and can vary and be affected by liquidities, commissions, and slippage. All right, so let's... Uh, Jump around and see what the market's doing. Seems like uh, we were up the last few days and uh, slightly bearish. Uh, minus 265 on the SPX, uh, minus 380 on the Russell, um, NDX minus 267, and uh, trends at 1.41. Someone on the, on the bearish side, um, the ticker on the NASDAQ is minus 138 and 180 uh, on the plus side for the New York Stock Exchange ticker. So pretty much holding the flat line. Um, VIX has uh, dropped, uh, I think we're down to 1120-ish or something, and 1133. So we're down another 1%. So 11% uh, pretty, pretty to uh, sell premium, um, as we all know. Um, and we're also in the, and I've mentioned this before, we're in this, this, this tight uh, little three or four point range after we do our little morning um, swing, which isn't been much, but after the first hour, um, you know, 167 to, you know, or, I mean, uh, 2267 to 2270 roughly, it's, it's a pretty tight range for most of the day. Um, uh, this is definitely a bulletproof rally to speak this market just there's just nothing that can shake it um, I remember when the uh, and the uh, Russian ambassador assassinated um, a couple of days ago and that didn't face the market um, so it, um, it's just um, uh, <laughs> speechless is to say the word but you know relentless is, is probably more appropriate so um, for the trade of the day um, that we take a look at something in the healthcare um, arena and this would be Clovis on ecology and it's a, kind of somewhat um, bullish trend on, on the charts uh, coming up from the um, on the weekly it's starting to come up and uh, definitely on the daily starting to test new highs um, and you get some stronger volume um, a little bit of a divergence here just you know, from a minor chart perspective so I want to be a little bit careful. Um, so from a bullish perspective, um, you know, looking to sell the 40, 35 put spread for a dollar, and then I'm going to buy twice as many call spreads, the 55, um, or I mean the 50, 55, 60, uh, call butterfly for 70 cents. Um, and if you can work it, you can probably get it on for a small credit, but uh, it'll cost you about 20 cents uh, to put on. But it takes uh, taking a bullish uh, play to the upside, um, so we're risking roughly 2,700 to make 4,200, um, or we try to take advantage of uh, the upside move. And uh, there's some support um, at the $40 price level, um, so that's why I can only use the $40 short strikes to sell against. So um, if we get a nice you know, pull up here the next, now we've got January options that were 30 days to expiration. So if they will start kicking in um, as each day um, uh, clicks more and more. Uh, so you collect about $10 in positive theta. And um, this would be our trade of the day. So, and we can look at a chart or two if anyone wants to type in a stock symbol. And the first one, uh, looks like Netflix and bullish bearish bullish yep 
It's been hung in the 50-day moving average pretty good. Got a little bit of a mini of a cup uh, formation going here, both on the weekly and the daily. Uh, I've used a little bit of earnings in 29 days. So let's see if we could find something on the bullish side. And so let's. So let's see what we got for the front and back yard. All right, let's uh, let's try maybe 120. Let's move our put out a little bit. Seventy cents. Let's see if we can get away with that. And we're going to do a straight call. Uh, let's look at the chart again. Let's see here. 135, 130, 135, 140. Yeah. Still. I'm rolling it out, but it'd be a lower probability trade for just for giggles. Yeah, still not. So I have to go with the butterfly. And let's try 135. Here we go. So what we're doing here is we're selling five of the 120, 119 put spreads for 37 cents. Uh, so you have a max risk of $512 on five contracts. And we can buy uh, the 135, 140, 145 call butterflies uh, for 39 cents. And uh, we can almost get that on for even money, uh, giving you uh, risking five ten to make twenty four hundred, so it's almost a five and one risk reward if it goes in our favor. Um, let's see if we wanted to. Let's see if we did a one three two. What would that do? I can do for 63 cent credit, 355. So I really don't need the put spread. If I take the put spread off, I can just do a 132 put uh, call butterfly to the upside. And usually, if I do this, I want to see if there's something taken in, and or maybe your brokerage get a margin, you 40 or 2320 on five contracts. Uh, let's see if we did something on the put side. And let's try 120. So you could do something like that. So you're getting a credit on the put side. If you want to move it out a little bit further, get a little bit more protection. Try going down another five points. There we go. So he's still collecting a credit. We're down at the 110 level, collecting 36 cents. So what we're doing is taking advantage of the margin. Um, since we're going to be margin on the upside, using the same kind of margin, but pulling a credit. And even if we do pull back, um, 
we can do that. So this is using a 132 both on the calls and put side. Um, using the January 20 option. So. And it does give you some of a bullish play to the upside. Let's see if we pull. And whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's see in here, there's 135. You want to get a little bit more bullish tinge. What I got here, guys. No. So I'm basically get pulling it a little bit closer. So the 135 going to 133 call for seven cent debit, but we still get the trade on for seven five dollar credit. But gets us a little bit closer, so we can make a little bit more money on the upside. So that's an, another option. But if you want to collect the premium, you can go with the 135. And that way you're going to be guaranteed at least uh, 135 um, or $335 credit. Uh, we're just going to sit here. So that might be a little bit safer, but depending on which way the market goes, and then you can use this credit to adjust if you want to the upside or downside. So that's um, kind of what we'll look at uh, for Netflix. All right. And right, we'll take a quick look at the market real quick. And markets continuing this tight three point range that we've seen in the past. Um, nothing seems to bring down the market. Uh, and we've got the Russell down 386. So, pretty much, uh, Russell's been pretty much uh, flat since lunchtime or one o'clock. NDX, NDX is rebounding. Uh, trends getting slightly more on the bullish side, but we're still kind of flat on the NASDAQ tick and then on the New York Stock Exchange ticker 74 so somewhat pretty flat so pretty quiet we're gonna have some economic news tomorrow we'll see if that uh, uh, moves the market to the upside or downside but um, if you need anything I'll be in the chat room get a couple of emails and then uh, we'll work on our slides to finish up the broken wing butterfly series uh, tomorrow night so um, hope you guys have a good rest of the day and uh, we'll talk to you later thanks